Hello, I'm Kennedy. And I'm Mateo. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our Raider Career Review. Review. Welcome everyone to this exciting career-based interview with Lindsay Meyer. She is an abstract artist whose love for art spans back as far as she can remember. Her arts are alive with rich color, texture, and movement, valuing non-objective properties more than recognizable image. Lindsay's greatest inspiration comes from the relationship between color and space as well as her roots in fashion, graphic design, and interior design. Her work has warranted various shows throughout the South and can be found in private collections across the United States. Lindsay has found a home in Dallas, Texas, where she lives with her husband and three children. We'll hear about her journey so far and what she has planned for the future. Before we start, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to visit with us. Absolutely. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Lindsay, thank you for joining us. What inspired you to pursue a career in design and art? You know, I didn't move into the world thinking I was going to do this at all. It started with um, studying at school. I did fashion merchandising and design and wanted to be a buyer for a clothing store. Ended up graduating college and doing that and then it just wasn't fulfilling at all. I thought it was going to be a lot of buying and going to markets and picking out clothes and um, doing that side of the job but it ended up being working the floor, selling clothes to people, a lot of numbers that I just wasn't prepared for and so ended up going back and pursuing graphic design. Can you share a bit about your educational background and how it has contributed to your career as an artist and designer? Yeah, so like I said, I studied fashion merchandising and then went back for graphic design. Um, I was only there for about six months learning Illustrator and Photoshop and all of the design softwares that you need to even begin doing that. And I just loved it. I fell in love with all of the, how quick it was, how, how you could change your mind, how the possibilities were just kind of endless in, in graphic design. Um, and then my husband got transferred to Dallas and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna find a, a school there quickly to transfer over? And ended up just finding a job doing graphic design. Well, then I had my son and I was working full time and needed something more flexible because graphic design, it does move so quickly that you can't just wait hours at a time and then they're waiting on this, this artwork to come in and be quickly fixed and moved about. And so um, I was like, I need something that I can do on my own that is under my own set of rules and time and space with a newborn. And um, that's when I started painting. What inspires you and your designs? Are there specific themes, cultures, or experience that influence your work? You know, this question I get asked a lot, and it's so hard because I think I'm just a curious person, always looking around, always seeing things. So I would say fashion for sure. Um, I love editorial pages. I love any sort of interior design magazine. Um, but even just small things like walking taking a long walk and seeing texture on the sidewalk or a colorway of a leaf or um, it sounds so silly but I think little things like that really just kind of find their way into my work. Can you walk us through your typical design process from inspiration to finished product? I would say that it's easy for me to come into someone's space and say what it, what are, what's functional for you? What do you want for your family? What, it, what would you like the space to feel like? And then we kind of start from there and probably get some inspiration pictures from Pinterest so I can kind of get on the same page in their mind on what design they, they're drawn to, what, what's livable to them, what colors inspire them. And then it moves on to texture and um, just swatches as far as um, furniture goes and then kind of the accessories are the last thing, including art. Among all of your creations, do you have a personal favorite? If so, what makes it so special? Um, there are a few pieces that I have painted that I will not sell. And I, I really, it's hard to put your finger on why. Maybe it was just a moment in my life that it meant a lot. Um, sometimes, a lot of times I write words underneath my artwork and um, just things going on in my life or other people around me and then I'll paint over it. And so if it's meaningful in that way, then I'll for sure um, keep those pieces. I probably have like three of those. How has being based in Dallas influenced your work as an artist and designer? Yeah, so I'm from a small town in Arkansas, and so I can't really see myself doing what I do there. Um, I'm so grateful for just 
the capacity to do what I do in Dallas. There's so many opportunities. Um, I think I think we're gonna talk about this later, but just social media opens you up to a wide range of different things that you can do. Um, Dallas being in Texas is so different than Arkansas and the fact that there's this culture of, you know, cowboys and Western, and that's kind of found itself into my artwork where I've done um, some series of cowboy work and um, never thought I would be painting that stuff, but that's definitely because of the culture and surroundings of Dallas. Balancing personal life and work can be challenging. How do you manage and maintain a balance, especially in a creative profession? Yeah, that's a really good question. I think this is something I'm always going to struggle with because I'm more, I am more of a creative and I'm not a type, I'm not structured. Um, I don't like to have to be certain places at certain times. So it is hard. It's hard to have three kids and maintain their schedules with just like the craziness of all that. And so um, it's a challenge. I have someone that works for me who does all the administrative stuff. So she does shipping and um, some social media and email, you know, back and forth administrative work. And I, I wouldn't be able to do what I do without her because that is so not my temperament and wheelhouse and so i think it takes a village like truly babysitters um back when my kids were young i would not have been able to do it by myself without people surrounding me that helped so much in today's digital age social media plays a significant role in a business how can social media impact your career as an artist oh this is such a beast um social media is so wonderful in so many ways and then it, it just can be the worst, you know, it is so important in my work to have constant content and to make that look beautiful. And um, I would say it's a total beat down, honestly, um, because you can no longer just be really good at your craft. You kind of have to have this presence online. I had someone um, do that for me in the past, but my voice wasn't really resonating through them in the way that I wanted or the photography was different than than what I had a vision for and so I ended up just kind of doing that for myself and so um, it is so important because I would say that 90% of my business comes from social media contacts and just the content that I put out there is how people know about my work and like the releases. How do you approach networking and building connections within the art and the design community? Yeah, I think being just a go-getter and someone who initiates that is so important. I mean, not only in work, but in life of just being able to get out of your comfort zone and be okay with being afraid of failure and just reaching out to a gallery like I'm doing that today. There's some places that I visited in um, Park City's Utah that were just the perfect place for some of my Western cowboy stuff. And so, um, you know, there's always that moment where you're like, I don't know if I'm good enough for this, or I don't know if this is gonna go well. And you just have to do it. You have to initiate, you have to reach out, be proactive and be okay with failing in something. And then you move on and try somewhere else. Every profession comes with its challenges. What are some challenges you faced in the art and design industry and how have you overcome them? Yeah, I would say um, one of the things with social media that's been disappointing is that people can just quickly imitate your work and copy what you're doing. And, um, you know, it's so helpful in so many other ways, but that's one of the downfalls. And so I think that can be really disheartening when you see other people copying what you're doing or um, taking credit for something that you've done. Um, it's just kind of a constant thing that you have to deal with, with putting your work out there into the world. Are there any lessons or advice you'd like to share with aspiring artists or designers based on your experiences? Um, I would just say, get out there and try. And there's so many avenues now where you can sell your artwork. It used to be, so different where you have to be only in galleries or live in a city that's huge that has all these opportunities and that's just not the case these days there's places where you can sell your work on ebay or etsy or um, through facebook groups just to get your foot in the door and to learn and do trial and error and so i would just say really investigate what those are and get to work and try and see how it goes Artists often experience an evolution in their style over time. How would you des describe the evolution of your aesthetics? I think before I just mainly did abstract art and now I've kind of 
um, moved into more expressionistic things, landscapes, like I said, um, like a cowboy series. Yesterday I started painting um, a new Aspen series, so I'm excited about that. I think it's just been more um, movement into a recognizable image where before it was mostly abstract work. Looking ahead, what are some of your future goals or projects as an artist and designer? I think this year one of my biggest goals is to try to get into more galleries. And so um, that just means reaching out to people where I think my work would really fit and benefit and be well represented there. And so that's kind of what I'm going to do in the next two months is um, just really try to show my work and present it in a way to new galleries. Well, thank you for coming. We're so glad we had the opportunity to interview you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm Lindsay Meyer and you are watching Raider Media News.